Current grazing systems research in Athenry is focusing on the impact of incorporating white clover into sheep grazed swards on the productivity of pasture based land production systems. We are placing a special emphasis on animal, environmental and economic impacts of these systems. Within this work, we are evaluating the effect of incorporating white clover into sheep grazed swards at two fertiliser nitrogen application rates and two stocking rate levels. The two stocking rate levels are 11 or 13 euros per hectare with three pasture treatments at each stocking rate. The first being a perennial ryegrass only sward receiving 145 kilograms of chemical nitrogen per hectare per year. The second being perennial ryegrass plus white clover receiving also 145 kilograms of chemical nitrogen per hectare per year. And the third treatment being perennial ryegrass plus white clover at 90 kilograms of chemical nitrogen applied per year, our low nitrogen treatment. The incorporation of white clover into the sward relative to perennial ryegrass only swards has resulted in lambs reaching slaughter nine days faster. In terms of sward dry market production, all three pasture treatments are producing a similar total annual yield of approximately 13 tonnes of dry matter per hectare per year. This is actually a very positive result in that the low nitrogen treatments are growing just as much grass as the other two higher nitrogen treatments with or without the application inclusion of white clover. We will continue to monitor this trial over time to assess if this, if this effect can be maintained, but it has potential to have major implications from both an economic and environmental point of view, while also improving animal performance. So there's a win-win at farm level. Key issues that we are continuing to focus on is the persistency of the clover in the grazing sward to assess the longer term benefits to both the animal and the sward. The aim of this project is to evaluate a range of alternative forages in combination with perennial ryegrass and their potential to increase animal performance and output in pasture based sheep production systems. The forages or forage mixtures that we are investigating are perennial ryegrass only, perennial ryegrass plus white clover, perennial ryegrass plus red clover, perennial ryegrass plus plantain and perennial ryegrass plus chicory. The incorporation of these companion forages could complement perennial ryegrass to maintain or enhance pasture quality and production. Alternative forage specific benefits have also been reported. White and red clovers have the ability to fix nitrogen and so reduce the need for chemical nitrogen application. Chicory and plantain have good drought tolerance and contain beneficial minerals and trace elements. Chicory is also reported to have an anthelmintic effect on sheep, reducing the worm burden in the animals. A farmlet study is underway here in Athenry to evaluate the effect of these forages on sward and animal performance. This study will assess the suitability of these forages under grazing systems for pasture-based sheep production and determine if there are subsequent benefits in overall sward and animal performance. A key area of my work is centred here on plots which are grazed by sheep. These trials investigate management issues or questions around establishment method, seeding rate of the grass and companion forage mixtures and optimum post grazing sward height. The aim of this work is to identify if any of these key management steps influence the persistency and longevity of the companion forages as well as their contribution to animal and sward performance. 